All right, man, so look, we back at it again with another crazy video for y'all. Now, before we get into the video, I need y'all to go down below and answer the poll question of the day. Now, today's poll question of the day. Now, are, if you are Christian, okay, and if even if you're not, this poll question still applies to you. What age did you come to Christ? And if you're not Christian, why are you not coming to Christ? Like, why did you not choose to come to Christ? Or you know, what's the reasoning behind you not trying to follow Christ? Let me know in the comment section below. Me personally, I came to Christ at the age of 18, but I truly started seeking him uh, this year. When I turned 19, I like try to, I really try to get a bad, get rid of the bad habits and everything in my life and really just trying to seek him. And I'm still learning as I go. I'm not perfect, but I'm still progressing. You feel me? It's always progression or perfection. Remember that. Anyways, hit the like button, subscribe to the post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG without further ado. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Let go. By Justin Lee Preeters. What do you want from white people? You gotta keep pointing your finger at yeah. white people. No, no, no. White people do hey, it all no, the time. no, wait, hold on one what second. You, please, please, please Jesse, this is important. Yeah. This is, no, no, no Jesse, from white this is yeah. very important, and I want, I want to make this very. You know, want, that's actually a good question. What do black people seriously want from white people? Because they're always blaming the white man. They're always blaming white people for this and white people for that. I truly want to know, what do y'all want? That's a good question. I'm ready to hear these boys' answers. Hey, white women, though. No way. Hold on. Please. <laughs> because I don't want you guys to edit this to make it look they like this. They're going to edit it. Oh, they're going to edit it. I'm though. dead serious you when I say this. Um, oh. this. Jesse thought he was slick. I seen the little cut. The little cut. They try to... The little... <laughs> <laughs> to make it look they like this. Is, oh, they gonna edit it. I'm dude. dead serious you when I say this. Um, that's oh. This is it. not settle down. <laughs> this is not a black white thing. First of all, let me be very clear. I have love for every single no, culture. What do you want no, from them? Wait, hold on. Let me finish. I didn't ask if you love them. No, no, no. Because no, because I know where you're trying to go with this. Where am I Again, trying to go? I have love for every culture. But let me tell you what I, I said, want. What do you let want? Me, for I'm gonna tell you what people. I want. I want the people, the white people that actually care about justice and equality and have love for their fellow man, not just their fellow white man, their fellow white woman. I want them to stand up. If you're not racist, stand up. Let's drown out the racists. Let's drown out the people that will sit there and fly to Indianapolis on two, spending, spending $242,000 of the taxpayers' money to demonize football players while letting the Klan gather twice. In, in Charlottesville. Charlottesville. I want those white people the clan, to stand up the and white say, yo, let's get rid of those people. You got love in your heart? What camera are we at? You got love in your heart? Stand up. You see something wrong? Say something. Don't wait until okay. cats so, let me sit there. Actually, I, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> me personally, what he just said was actually a good, it was actually something good. Okay, I thought he was going to say something dumb, but it was actually something good. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do got love in your heart, you need to stand up. And a lot a lot of people, period, I'm not just going to say white people, but a lot of people, period, they see racism, they don't stand up. They don't stand up to the plate because they're too scared to get canceled. They don't want to speak what's on their mind. It's okay to have your freedom of speech. You feel me? You can have freedom of speech. We have the right to speak what's on our mind. No matter where it's at, we have the right to do that. You feel me? And I feel like a lot of people need to start doing, start speaking what's on their mind and start speaking against racism. You feel me? But at the end of the day, I'm not just going to say it's white people. I'm going to say it's every race that needs to stand up and do that. Not just white people. I'm going to tell you what I want from white me, people. I want white ridiculous. people. I want, want? Hold up. I want white people. If you want the same, you want respect, you want to get all these different things to say, American dream, and all this stuff, don't prevent me from getting my dream because of the color of my skin. I want white people to just step up and be like, hey, I want you to have the same things I want as a human being. So let me but you, you judge me by my color. You assume I'm not intelligent by my color. And half the people that do it because of white privilege don't realize I'm actually smarter than most of you. I have graduated. I have more money than you. I'm stronger than you. I'm probably. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, you was just doing the good. I was actually like, what just happened? What, 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 what just happened? Bro, you went from I want this. I want this, but then you start to have pride within yourself saying, what you realize, I'm, I'm smarter than you. I'm this, I'm that, like, what, bro? What? <laughs> like, what, what the freak did I just watch? Smarter than most of you. I have graduated. I have more money than you. I'm stronger than you. I probably fuck better than you. And all that other shit that you try to demean me with. But I'm, I'm sorry, I'm ghetto. I sometimes I say raw stuff. The bottom line is this. You demean me. I want the same thing you want. 
And don't act like it's fair because if I'm running a race and I got a shackle on my foot and I'm just as fast as you and you win, you just go, so, oh, what, what's the problem? It's just a shackle. I want respect. I want respect. respect. When, I give it res- when I give respect, I want give me respect. respect. I want... Oh, my gosh. I, bro, what? Dog, I was just on y'all side. Like, I, I... I was just like agreeing with you saying like, well, this is something that we need from every race, not just white people. But bro, what, bro, what, what did you just go? You went from talking, like talking with some type of sense to just literally talking with no sense at all. I'm confused. I'm literally confused. Every time I watch a black person or should I say every time I watch a clown, you feel me? Not, I'm not saying all black people clown, but every time I watch a clown, you know, certain clowns like these two people, I lose brain cells. I don't know what the freak just happened, but in my brain, it's not processing everything. You just went from high to talking about you, you, you F better than some of these white people. You, you have more money than some of these white people. You're smarter than some of these white people. If y'all want to, if y'all want to stop all the racism and stop all, bro, stop saying dumb stuff like that. Stop saying dumb stuff like that. You been so cocky saying you this and saying you that. And because of their white privilege and, Oh my. <laughs> oh jeez, bro. I respect that for the people who else. don't have to I need worry short about answer doing. because we out of time. I got I don't it. Want we to get short. You, you can't get it. Yeah, I, I need short answer. Number oh. one, President Trump, of whom I call the great white hope, the savior of hey, man, black people. Listen, man. Let listen, me ask. I'm he out. said. He said. He said. He actually Trump, said that. Did you yeah, just say that? President Trump banned transgenders in the military, all branches. You, you okay with that? That's a good idea. Well, let me say something as a transgender. Uh, I've been a woman. No, I'm kidding. No, uh, come on, man. I have a, I have a very beautiful penis. Um, <laughs> no, I just, I think that Short answer because if you're time. a dude chick and you want to go out and fight for this country because you believe in the freedoms of this country, do your thing. Why not? So are you okay with him banning transgenders I am not or okay not? with no. it at all. How about you? Uh, Ty- uh, nope. No. Nope, don't ban them. Why not? Uh, you, the country's so great, right? So you you want people to fight for it. So oh, you, you're in support of transgender. Is transgender right? Is that something we should accept as a norm? Why, why, why not? If we have to accept hate speech, why can't we accept people who love each other and they want to chop off their I can dick accept white nationalists. Amazing. So let me ask. Burning tiki short, torches. Short what a answer. bitch way to be Real hardcore. Short tiki answer. torches. Very short really? answer. I'm totally out of time. Okay, so. Um, what happened to black men that they don't have the courage and the know-how to go the into their own the communities and, de- and, and deal with the black-on-black violence. Run there the are game, people that deal with run it. Run the gang members Ooh. out. Run the drug dealers out. There are out. people that do that. Why do they abandon their own communities? They're not abandoning their own they communities. They do. They, no, the moment no, they, they get a dollar you bill, can't show me any stats where do to they say move, that? Shane? They they move you can't show their, me any stats to you? Show me, show me black people who actually... Well, I mean, it, it may be certain people out there who actually don't like, you know, try to make the community better in the black neighborhoods. But, bro, the whole Black Lives Matter, this organization thing, this organization ain't do nothing for the black communities. But y'all support this community. Y'all support this organization like like this. But it didn't do nothing for the black community. Because everything that's everything that was going on in the black community is still happening in the black community. And with the whole transgender thing, uh, me personally. I love everybody. You feel me? I love each and every person. Now, when it comes to transgenders joining women's sports, I'm talking about uh, a man who, you know, changed himself to a woman. That I'm against. You have the advantage, bro. You feel me? I'm against that. But that's a whole nother video for another day. But I'm just saying, with the with, with the whole uh, black community, bro, like, man, you have to really show me proof. You feel me? And like I said, it, I know a certain individuals who go into black communities and try to help out the community, trying to make the community better than what it is. But <laughs> it, it, it don't seem like it's getting any better. You feel me? I mean, Lori Lightfoot, my mayor of Chicago, the woman has not done anything for black communities. I mean, it's still crime on crime, I mean, crime on crime, black on black crime. It's still going on in Chicago to this day. The Black Lives Matter organization ain't do nothing to help this to help these things that's going on. All they did was collect money and use our money on men. That's what they did. That's exactly what they did. You can't Are show you me any stats. That move? I can show I can show you tons of people. You can't show me any stats that Amazing. say black people are abandoning their people in the neighborhoods. You can't. My there's son, nothing, there's you nothing guys to are so dishonest. I'm telling you, not gonna get ahead. I and you're not ahead. going to develop respect what by others. We are you're not I'm, gonna 
But then explain to me why it be so many rappers that got millions of dollars, thousands, thousands of dollars. They leave their neighborhood to go to somewhere else, nicer. Why they don't stay in their same neighborhood? Why? Why they don't stay in the same neighborhood? I'm, I'm Just tell me. Let me know. You feel me? You a rapper. You an entertainer. You got thousands, thousands of dollars. Why not use that money to rebuild the neighborhood you came from? I don't see a lot of rappers doing that. I actually, I don't see no rappers doing that. All the rappers from Chicago. Why not put that money into the neighborhoods? Y'all got all these thousand, thousand dollars from shows, from this, from that, from this, from that. But y'all not put it into the neighborhood y'all came from. Look at O Block. I mean, seriously. <laughs> y'all came from O Block. Y'all repping O Block, but y'all not putting that money to better the community. He's on get, mad TV I'm, shows I'm, and a bunch good. of stuff. Like, this dude looks headline. I just got an hour special. Man, y'all, look. Okay, with the whole idea of the video, personally, I don't think that white people, I don't want nothing from white people. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you something that I do want from everybody. All I want everybody to do is love one another. That's it. I don't want nothing from white people. I don't want nothing from this race. That race. I just want everybody from everybody. I don't want just nothing from a, a, a Pacific group. I just want things for everybody to just love one another. Love one another. Take care of one another. Treat one another like a brother or sister, no matter what color. I'm not just going to call black people my brother. I'm not going to call black, uh, black women my sisters. No, everybody is my brother everybody is my sister that's just how i roll and that's how i operate stop celebrating organizations that put a race on everything i'm not going to celebrate an organization that put black in front of lives matter not going to do it but if you put all lives matter that's something that i will support because that's true but when you just put a specific group of a race or you feel me whatever you put that race right there and slap black on it that's when i can't support it i can't support something that y'all just slap one race on and then y'all slap the one race that want everything in the everything in America. Y'all want everything. Y'all want to be treated like victims. Y'all want everything. Y'all say this is that black uh, uh police brutality. This that. Y'all want everything, bro. Every single thing. And I can't support somebody who always want to play victim but never hold accountability for themselves. Name something. What the question should have been. Name something that you want from the black community. Name something that you want from black people. Cause guess what? Black people hate black people. They hate black people more than they hate white people. Trust. Y'all hate y'all own race, but y'all want to support and, and protect y'all own race. It don't make sense. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Uh, I don't know. I, I truly don't know. When it when this race slapped on everything, bro, I just can't. I can't. You feel me? But y'all let me know what y'all think about it. It's been your boy, Depan. I love each and every one of y'all. And I just want to say thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? We we at 60K, man. We we just on a roll. We just grinding. We just moving up and moving up in life. I'm not stopping. You feel me? I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.